you do that first, then you can uh, carry on with this uh, video. Hi guys, thanks for dropping in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Rick and uh, well, I thought I'd fit a couple more clips probably in before Christmas. And uh, this one, I've had my pannier racks and top box mount back from the powder coaters. Um, I decided the uh, standard silver finish uh, just didn't blend in with the rest of the bike. Um, you know, the block bike is black and orange, yet the racks are silver. I mean, Tourer Tech on the website, I think you can get for the Ziga Pro uh, Pro 2, uh, which I think these are based off the uh, KTM ones, are, uh, you can get the black pannier rack mounts um, or the silver, but it looks like KTM only ships silver as part of their OEM kit. Anyway, got them back from the powder coaters, cost me £80, uh, but looks so much better. Um, I don't know how they're going to wear. On the uh, wearing points, I'll put some black electrical tape anyway at a time to try and help uh, stop the uh, rubbing off of the uh, top box fixtures. Um, but anyway, the amount of times I'm going to use the top box, um, I'll just keep replacing the masking tape. And if it rubs through, it rubs through. Um, to be fair, even the silver mounts were rubbing through anyway, and you could see black. Yeah, go figure. Anyway, let's have a look. All right, back from the powder coaters. As you can see, so much sleeker. I mean, I don't know why they get shipped with the, uh, you know, standard aluminium look, but you can get the black ones off Tour Tech website, but the uh, KTM ones just come silver. Anyway. And I've got my uh, Perron Moto rack underneath there. Had to put my own holes in, but uh, nevertheless, it's still better than the stock one. So many more attaching points on it. So much better looking. Now it's black. <laughs> 